coupling procedure for E-Type CBC with E-Type CBC. Secure the formation with skids and hand brakes. Check alignment of couplers. If required, adjust the couplers manually towards each other and make sure that they are in the gathering range of the coupler geometry. Now bring the vehicle slowly approximately 3 km per hour for coupling the loco and wagon. Both the knuckles should be in open condition. After coupling ensure the lock lifter of loco and wagon is fully dropped. After coupling, reverse the power to pull. This is a typical pull test to reconfirm the positive coupling. Insert the CBC safety pin. Ensure the BP and FP angle COC of the formation are in open condition. Connect the BP and FP hose pipes in between the rolling stock. Coupling procedure for transition screw coupling with draw hook. Secure the formation with skids and hand brakes. Stop the locomotive before 20 meters from the formation, then proceed cautiously. Bring both the rolling stock in the gathering range and ensure the coupler alignment with the draw hook. Ensure the CBC is closed properly and CBC safety pin is intact. Ensure equal numbers of threads on both sides of trunnion.
put the shackle of transition screw coupling on the draw hook and proportionally tight the trunnion. Put the shackle of transition screw coupling on the draw hook and proportionally tight the trunnion. Ensure the BP and FP angle cocks of the Ford Nation are in open condition. Connect the BP and FP hose pipes in between the rolling stock. First, open the FP angle COC of the locomotive and charge the FP pressure. Then, open the BP angle COC of the locomotive. Ensures there is no air leakage at the BP and FP.